Hi, and welcome. My name is Sue Morris. I'm a clinical nurse educator at the New Brunswick Heart Center, and my colleague, Vanessa. Hi, I'm the resource nurse for coronary care unit at the New Brunswick Heart Center. And today we're going to show you or give you a demonstration of how to use hard paddles if you ever encountered supply chain issues with um, the quick combo defibrillation pads. So here is my LifePak 20E. Right now it has a therapy cable connected to it. If I were to turn on the device, tell me to remove test plug and connect defibrillation pads. But if there were an issue with gaining access to these, we can turn our device back off. Vanessa, can you get your hands in here and turn that in a counterclockwise fashion? So the therapy cable has been removed. And now the paddles that sit on top of the device will be connected. And you do have to tilt the device a bit. And so now the hard paddles are engaged. Is there anything else we need to use with these? So you need to use gel or saline pads. Uh, they should be available on your carts check to make sure that they are not expired as we don't use them very often. But you pull, just open the package, they're single patient use. These are a little wet. Um, one comes per package, so you'll need to rip them in half there and apply them to the chest, the same area that you would the pads. Clean up your little mess to make sure your coworkers stay safe. And all the while, somebody is doing very effective CPR. So I am going to face the defibrillator and turn it on. And I am going to pull these in this fashion. I have an apex and a sternum. I want to put my sternum on the right, my apex on the left, and my colleague Vanessa will come over and hit energy select. We will go to 200. And in the real world, we would hit charge. Today, we're not going to. But once it's fully charged, then you will simultaneously deliver the energy, ensuring that you are not touching the bed or the patient and that your colleagues are also out of the way. I'm clear. You're clear. We're all clear. And we discharge the electricity. Remember that when you place these on the patient's chest, you will get a rhythm up here on the monitor. That is how you will see what the rhythm looks like. You do not need to put your ECG electrodes on when your patient has no pulse. Thank you for how much pressure do you need to apply to successfully deliver an energy? Great question. Delivery. In a perfect world, 25 pounds of pressure is what is needed. You do the best you can with what you have, ensuring the taller you are, the more or the better ability you have to apply pressure. Do you have any other questions, Vanessa? No, I think that covers everything. Perfect, thank you.